So I understand you're thinking about going to Mexico. Before you do, <laughs> let me warn you, Mexico is a very dangerous place. So whatever you do, don't leave the resort. Okay, now seriously, Mexico is a place where more and more people are moving for more personal freedom and a better lifestyle. I'm here in Santiago de Querétaro to talk about some of the misconceptions about Mexico. So I've been talking about Mexico for some time now and my viewers would know that I've spent a fair amount of time here. More and more Canadians, Americans and Europeans are choosing to move to Mexico and in fact over the last couple of years the number of people applying for temporary and permanent residency has gone up significantly. I see them here. They're people who want to live a more free life and to reduce their cost of living. They want more freedom to run their businesses, want more freedom to live their lives. But despite this, there's still a lot of misconceptions about Mexico. They don't speak English in Mexico. Okay, yes, Mexico is a Spanish-speaking country, and if you're planning to come here, then it's probably worth it to learn a little bit of the language. You know, what I found personally from my experience is the more Spanish I speak, the easier it is to communicate with people, and the value of that communication is being able to meet people, you know, get to know them to some degree, people who I might not otherwise be able to talk to without learning a little bit of their language. Traveling to Mexico is similar to traveling to other countries where English isn't the first language. And that is that you will often find people who do speak English. Usually it's amongst the younger generations as well as the higher educated. One thing that I can say about traveling around Mexico, what I found is that the people here in Mexico are incredibly friendly and even when they don't speak English, they always try their best to communicate with you. Yes, you should learn some Spanish to get by here, especially if you plan to live here for some extended time. But it shouldn't be seen as an obstacle. Mexico is a poor country. Mexico might not be the wealthiest country, but it is, technically speaking, an upper middle class country. In fact, Mexico is rated 15th largest in the world for nominal GDP and the 13th largest in purchasing power parity, according to the International Monetary Fund. There are plenty of wealthy people and businesses making Mexico their home. Where I am today, here in Santiago de Querétaro, we have large businesses like Bombardier, Airbus, Toyota, and Michelin all nearby. Mexico has a bad passport. For those of you looking for another country to move to, to get a second citizenship, the Mexican passport isn't actually that bad. Mexican citizens can travel freely, visa-free, to countries like Canada, the European Union, most of Central and South America, as well as New Zealand. The food and water will make you sick. There are certainly places around the world, including in more developed countries, where you shouldn't drink the water straight from the tap. And I would say Mexico is no different. In fact, this is one of the misconceptions where I would say is close to accurate. But, like a lot of other countries, Mexico has adopted filtration systems within their restaurants and their homes that make it possible to drink water directly from the tap. So should you drink water directly from the tap in Mexico? No, you probably shouldn't. In residential homes, if you have a filtration system set up, then yeah, why not? The thing is also that there is bottled water readily available everywhere. Water? Safe if you know that it is a filtered system. Otherwise, stick to bottled water and uh, yeah, no problem. As for the food, I don't think I've ever gotten sick from eating the food in Mexico. I've traveled my share. You know, I've been to Southeast Asia, I've been to Australia, I've traveled around and across the US, Canada and Mexico. I've been to Europe, to Spain, France, Belgium and the UK. And what I can honestly say is that there are very few places where I have not experienced food that my stomach had to adjust to. I would say the same is here in Mexico. I would say the food is safe to eat, but you will always find whenever you travel outside of your country or your region, something that might disturb your tummy a little bit. It's too hot in Mexico. So as a Canadian, I wanted to move somewhere that I could escape the cold Canadian winters and not be somewhere where it was overly hot, where I found myself stuck inside in the air conditioning all day. 
So one of the nice things about Mexico is that it's a large country. It's the 14th largest country in the world and the fifth largest in the Americas. It has a coastline on the East Coast, which is the Gulf of Mexico, a coastline on the West Coast, which is on the Pacific. And then in between, it has a variety of different landscapes from deserts, temperate forests, and jungles. There's no question there are areas in Mexico that get extremely warm, but there are also more temperate areas like Mexico City, for example, which has a median temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. And in summer months, the average daily high is only 26 degrees Celsius. If you're looking for a more comfortable place to live, get out of the freezing temperatures of Canada, for example, Mexico does have some great options for you. Mexico is a dangerous country. So there's really no question that Mexico is infamously and statistically known as a dangerous country. But the thing is, there are a lot of dangerous places around the world. And in most of these places, you can find dangerous places as well as places that are relatively, if not completely safe. So take for example, where I am now today, Santiago de Carretero in central Mexico. Carretero is known as a very safe place. And in fact, according to Numio, it's a city that's safer than even many Canadian cities. So are there dangerous areas in Mexico? Yes, of course there are, just like there are dangerous areas in any country. If you're planning to live here, move here permanently or temporarily, it's relatively easy to find an area in Mexico that you can have a very safe, secure life. When you come to Mexico, are you gonna leave the resort? I hope so. Mexico is a great country, and if you travel here, I hope you take the chance to get out of the resort, experience the people, the food, the culture. It's really a wonderful place. If you're interested in moving here, then I recommend you check out my video, the top five reasons why I think Mexico is a great option to move to in 2023.